Hey guys, it's Peach Fuzz HD here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for the Roxio Game Cap. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make it less laggy and um, hopefully fix all your problems. So, let it load real quick and then I'll, I'll begin. Sorry, my computer is kind of slow. For Christmas, I'm getting a new one, so you guys don't have to worry about this. And I'll pause it until it gets done. Alright guys, now that this is uh, up and running, now I'm going to show you the best options and uh, best settings to use for the Roxio. It's going to be kind of laggy, but it's fine with me. Alright, the best setting uh, that you want the thing to like um, capture in is AVI. All the other ones are good, and the AVI may be the biggest, but it's uh, the best quality. Now let's move on to options. And also right here, to save to, you can just choose where you save to. I have um, right here montage clips, and I have it saved as the date, and the, after this it shows a number, so I just go by the number and the date it was um, made on. So I'm going to let this load. I'm going to pause again because I have a crappy computer. Okay, now that this is chosen, um, your input, if you do not have an HDTV or if you do have an HDTV, the easiest way for the input that you want to do for the input is you go to settings, you go to system settings. Right, I'll move this out of the way. Um, if you don't have this already on your HDTV, then this is a little quick tip for your, whatchamacallit, um, not network settings. Uh, go to console settings. Go to display. Go to HDTV settings. And, uh, you should have, if you have HDTV like mine, I guess, you should have, uh, all these four choices. If you don't, or if you have splitters, then I really don't know what else there is. But, this is, uh, I use 1080i. because uh, it's ni nice and clear, but it makes you kind of smaller. But, anyways, back to this. Um,. What you want is an input at 1080i set by 720, and um, the standard TV standard is uh, NTSC uh, M. And the file locations is this is where it's saved. This is where the audio is saved, and uh, just I guess my videos. The audio input would be the line N, which is your USB when you plug in the Roxio, leading to the little box, and the hotkeys you don't really have to worry about. So that was a really simple. Oh wait, I should go over this. Um, this little button right here, uh, you can control all the sharpnesses and brightnesses of uh, making your video clearer, I guess, and more HD-like. But I really don't mess with that. I use the default settings that came with it. So you can uh, edit the brightness, hue, sharpness, contrast, and saturation. Um, if you haven't, if you already done that, you can just click reset, and it'll reset everything to the factory settings, I guess. So. That's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, it was really quick, I had nothing else to do and I just want to show you guys that I'm active and I, I'm trying to get some more subscribers, so if you guys would help me by subscribing, liking, and favoriting the video, it would greatly, um, I would greatly appreciate it. So, Also guys, check out my clan channel, we're getting, uh, we're, we should be getting 500k, uh, not 500k, 500 subs by tomorrow, even by tonight, maybe a thousand subs by the end of this year so um that's it guys i'm peach was hd and this has been a, another tutorial see you